Yo, we live. We about to check out Bevo versus Ramirez. I'm going to give you a round by round breakdown, technical breakdown of what you're looking at. A lot of channels can't do that. They're not going to tell you what you're really seeing. But Gilberto Ramirez is walking over to the ring now. And um, I really look forward to this fight, man. This is a very anticipated fight. And um, I think we all going to see what Dimitri Bevo is made of and Ramirez. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, they say it's going to be a big test for Gilberto Ramirez and Dimitri Bevo. So we're going to see. Me personally, I think that Bebo is going to win this really easy, but I could be wrong. You know what I mean? You, you can't always uh, the count on your prediction. But I just think that um, Bebo got everything it takes to beat a fighter like uh, Gilberto Ramirez. That's just what I think. You know what I mean? Let's go. Gilberto Ramirez looks like he's confident. To me, he's a slow, flat-footed fighter. So... We gonna see what's to right now. I think um, the significance of this fight is very important because Canelo said, "Remember, hey, what did Canelo say he would do if Bevo wins this fight? Somebody type it up. If Bevo wins, we're expecting Canelo to do what? You know what I'm saying?" Here comes the hey, hey, here comes the man of the hour, Dimitri Bebo. Respect, respect to Dimitri Bebo in his last fight for dominating Canelo. Devin De Los Santos. He said Canelo rematch. You absolutely right. I love how they're showing the highlights. Of when Bebo destroyed Canelo. I love that. Dimitri Bebo is now walking to the ring. You gotta love Dimitri Bebo. You gotta appreciate a fighter like Dimitri Bebo. I love how they keep on showing the highlights of him beat up on Canelo. When Dimitri Bebo beat Canelo, that was one of the happiest moments of my life. You know what I'm saying? I love knowing that Canelo fans were watching that fight. And um, they saw what their man's really made of, which isn't much. You know what I'm saying? Canelo will stock up on Mexican beef if Bebo wins. No, you're right. I definitely agree with you. I really don't think that Canelo Alvarez ever going to take a Bebo rematch. But, you know, that's, that's just me. You know what I mean? But we're going to see what's up right now, man. Who do y'all got in this fight? And how do you see it going? Bebo is a humble... Hey, yo, Combat Pie, what up, man? He got a, he got a big TikTok page, I believe. I think that uh, Dimitri Bebo, I respect him because he said... They said, what about a Canelo rematch? And he said, I'm not worried about no Canelo rematch. He's worried about his legacy. You know what I'm saying? He's worried about going undisputed at 175. So I really respect Dimitri Bevo's mindset. He ain't worried about no Canelo fight. He don't care about no damn Canelo fight. Canelo's just a money fight, and that's cool. You know, m money is cool, but at the same time, Bevo's not worried about money, uh, the money in the fighting. He's worried about legacy. Bevo looks ready. Bevo by UD. Or TKO, Ayo Matthew, what up, bro? I see you, bro. Josh Burns says Canelo should have been a track runner the way he runs some fights. I love that comment. I like how Dimitri Bebo got the hoodie on. He comes in with the hoodie. I like that. He he got his own little um. He got his own little uh, attire for how he for how he comes to the ring. He said, "Climb, climb, Canelo." Yeah, we know that. We definitely know that. Bebo ain't worried about him because he whooped him already. Jacob Vasquez, you absolutely right. Bebo definitely not worried about dude, bro. Canelo's nothing to worry about. 
keep trying to tell y'all Canelo going to end out his career by never fighting B-Ball again. He ain't never going to fight B-Ball. And that's just what it is. B-Ball going to put hands on his crown. And my grass get... <laughs> hey, yo, YS, bro. I love that comment, bro. I love that comment, bro. You funny as hell, bro. I love that type of comment. I just do, bro. Funny dude, bro. All right, here we go. Let's get to this. Bebo should take Canelo straight. You know what? Matter of fact, Matthew, I think that's what he should do, bro. I think that Dimitri Bebo, uh, I think that he should go to 68 and take Canelo's, Canelo's 168 belts. That's, that's just what I believe he should do, bro. See, here we go. Dimitri Bebo versus Gilberto Ramirez. I got a gang of streams, man. Here we go. I found the stream. Let's get to this fight, man. I feel like he can cut weight. Dimitri Bebo is not a big, light heavyweight. Dimitri Bebo... Actually, could fight at 168. I just think that he'll have trouble with David Benavidez. That's what I believe. Let's go, man. Matthew, what up, bro? Demetrio about to hurt this dude. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, yo, uh, okay. Be respectful, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I mean, I hear you. Trust me, I hear you. But, you know what I mean? Uh, you don't have to be racist you understand you watching this on the tiktok live stream it's okay hey however you watching it as long as you watching it as long as you're witnessing it it don't matter how you watch it you could be watching off somebody you could be watching off somebody iphone you could be watching off a tiktok or instagram whatever it it, it don't matter Gilberto Ramirez. I don't like this dude because I don't like fighters who wear cowboy hats and cowboy boots. I just don't. Matthew said, Viva Bebo. Bebo, you about to lose. As a matter of fact, I don't know who's going to win this fight, but I'm rooting for Dimitri Bebo. I think that Gilberto Ramirez is very flat-footed. I think that Gilberto Ramirez is very slow. I don't see nothing special from Gilberto Ramirez. This dude says, you want Bebo versus Better Beef undisputed next. Thank you for the super chat. Canelo is a non-factor. I love that comment. Canelo is a non-factor, bro. Canelo's on the way out of his career. I don't see Canelo any type of special anymore, bro. You see how Canelo looked in his last fight. And he just got hand surgery. Um, I don't see him doing nothing big anymore in his career, man. I think Canelo should retire soon if he knows what's good for him. It's a whole lot of drama waiting for Canelo Alvarez at 168 or 75, man. I don't see Canelo as no type of threat to anybody. You know what I mean? That's that's just what it is. Canelo's no threat to nobody, man. You know what I mean? Canelo, Canelo, Canelo's never going to be a champion at 175. You know what I mean? I think that Canelo should vacate his 168 belts. I don't see nothing special from Canelo. I've never seen nothing special from Canelo. Canelo's biggest moment was losing to Floyd. Here we go, man. Round one about to start. Let's get it. You know what, Mr. Monte? You're right. Better Beef is the is the real the big deal in the division. I agree with you. All right, round one. Here we go. It looks like they in the center of the ring. They trying to establish their position. I want Dimitri Bebo to start the way he did, the way he did in the Canelo fight. 
I want him to establish that jab and, you know what I'm saying, just continue to do his thing the way I want Bebo to do what Bebo does in this fight. You know, Bebo got all the skills to beat this dude. Here we go. They in the center of the ring just kind of popping jabs out. Gilberto Ramirez looks a lot bigger than Dimitri Bebo. His only advantage is that he's a southpaw. Dimitri Bebo is pressing the action to him. Gilberto Ramirez is using that long jab. What are they doing? What is the referee talking about? You see, Dimitri Bebo got a good game plan already. He's using his in and out movements. I want him to hurt this dude. I don't like boxers who box with cowboy hats on. I could never respect a fighter who fights with a cowboy hat, and that's just what it is. You know, say what you want. Dimitri Bebo with a good combination to dude's head. Dimitri Bebo has really good timing on when he lets off his fast punches. Gilberto Ramirez looks lost right now. He looks like he doesn't know what to do. You said Bebo Shorts ain't it. You don't like them short? I don't really pay attention to, to the shorts the fighters are wearing. You know what? They look like a low blow. I think Bebo's waiting to use his explosiveness and speed. Uh, Gilberto Ramirez looks like I said he was going to look very, very slow and very readable. Gilberto Ramirez ain't doing nothing special. He just caught a nice right hand from Dimitri Bebo. I told y'all, man, dude is nothing special, man. Way nothing special at all I see from this dude. I think that Dimitri Bebo looks like he got the right game plan as of right now. Uh, I like what I'm seeing so far, man. Good stuff. Here we go. Hey, what stream is y'all using? My stream keeps twigging. I got you. Right back up. They both look a little hesitant right now. Oh! Gilberto Ramirez just go. They fighting. Good, good way to end the round. Gilberto Ramirez just landed a nice, he just landed a nice straight left on Dimitri Bebo, man. I think these guys are better evenly matched. I ain't gonna lie. That was a nice, that was a nice left hand. Hold up. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Boxing. Here we go. I found it. Man, these streams is tweaking, but I'm gonna get it. I always, I always get it. You gotta know how to operate these streams. Learn. Your message ain't loading. YouTube blocking the link. Sapa gave you a wrench. Did I give you a wrench? I guess I did. If I gave you a wrench, that means I see that you're a real channel. Dimitri Bebo is sweating already. That's not a good sign, man. At the end of the round, Bebo landed a Bebo got a good power in that right hand. Gilberto Ramirez, that was a good way to end the round. Here we go, round two. They in the center of the ring. Gilberto Ramirez comes out the softball stance. Dimitri Bebo looks like he wants to press the action. They're right in the center of the ring. I love Bebo's in and out movements, the way he fought against Canelo. He's really good on his toes. Gilberto Ramirez just looks very slow, very flat-footed. I don't see nothing special from this guy. Dimitri Bebo keeps marching towards him with a, with a high guard, um, very much on his toes. He looks like... See, Dimitri Bebo got a similar game plan that he had in the Canelo fight. What you're seeing Dimitri Bebo do 
is pressed towards Ramirez and want to corner him and let off their combinations the way he did to Canelo. Gilberto Ramirez is looking to land one shot at a time. That's not a good look. That's not the way you're going to beat Bebo. I think a good way to beat Bebo is to be just as fast as him. And Gilberto Ramirez doesn't have the speed to compete with Dimitri Bebo. It looked like Bebo is well aware. Gilberto Ramirez looks like he's fighting off the back foot. And he looks like he doesn't know how to fight off the back foot. He's throwing single jabs. Three punch combinations. He does have the reach on Dimitri Bivo. The re Dimitri Bivo moves beautifully in and out. He got good. He got good. Uh, he got good in and out explosive movements. Gilberto Ramirez is clearly the bigger man, but Dimitri Bivo keeps up. Oh, he go. Gilberto Ramirez just caught Dimitri Bivo with a nice left. I don't know, man. This, this could turn out to be a war. I'm no psychic, but I want Dimitri Bivol to step on his dude. My prediction was Dimitri Bivol by unanimous. You know what I'm saying? Gilberto Ramirez is throwing the one-two. One thing I do give Gilberto is he got really long arms. When he throws out, yo, nice combination from Dimitri Bivol. Dimitri Bivol always has that same rhythm. It could be a good thing and a bad thing. You never see Dimitri Bivo switch gears. He's always in that same little rhythm. He never switches it up. He, he got more of like a rhythm little stance and he jumped in and out. And that's all he pretty much got, but that's all he needs. He could do that because he got good eyeballs and good timing for that style. He, he uses his feints, jumps in and out, and he times his attack perfectly in my opinion. Gilberto Ramirez looks like he's thinking too much. He looks like he's just trying to land when he... Dimitri Bebo let off on him. Good job. Dimitri Bebo is starting to land on dude. Good round. I got Bebo winning the fight. Bebo is definitely good with that lead hand. Dimitri Bebo got a good... Dimitri Bebo, what you see when you watch him fight, he got really good feet. With the with good vision to uh, coincide with them feet, Dimitri Bebo uses his eyes and his feet really good. He knows how to go in and out, and he knows when to attack and get up out of there. Kind of like how Manny Pacquiao used to. Manny Pacquiao used to be a good in and out fighter. Jump in, let off, get back. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I see with Dimitri Bebo. I like Bebo. Bebo versus Better Beef. Dimitri Bebo said he wants Better Beef if he wins this fight. They asked him about a Canelo rematch. He said that a Canelo rematch would just be a money fight. Canelo's not no competition. And I'm going to do a video on that. He said, why fight Canelo? Canelo's no competition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, Ramirez is too, way too flat footed. You're right. All right, they come out. They're in the center of the ring. Dimitri Bebo. Doing the same thing, man, but it's working for him. Gilberto Ramirez looks like he wants to pop the jab more and use that reach. They in the center of the ring. Gilberto Ramirez is just kind of pawing the jab out there, trying to establish his range. Dimitri Bebo just he he's always fainting, which is good. Nice combination from Bebo. Dimitri Bebo is very fast. Dimitri Bebo is clearly the faster man right now. He got way more speed. Than this slow, flat footed Mexican boxer, you know what I'm saying, which is typical. A lot of Mexican boxers are very slow, no speed, no footwork, no rhythm, no nothing. Nice right hand by Dimitri Bebo, Gilberto Ramirez asked for it. The Southpaw killer is the right hand, and Dimitri Bebo just caught Gilberto Ramirez with a nice right hand. Dimitri Bebo looks like he never wants to back down from a toe to toe brawl. Not, not necessarily a bra, but to where he'll get right in front of you, let them hands off, and jump back out. Dimitri Bebo is a great boxer. Hit and not get hit. Great head movement by Bebo. He does all that right now. Nice right hand by Bebo. Bebo is doing what I thought he would do against the slow, flat-footed Ramirez right now. They're in the center of the ring. 
Ramirez is pawing the jab out. He's throwing. He's hitting absolutely nothing. Ramirez is just kind of shooting jabs out, and they're not touching nothing. Dimitri Bebo is standing with the high guard, just kind of slipping and doing what he does. Gilberto Ramirez looks confused right now. Uh, Dimitri Bebo just looking kind of to time him in this round. They kind of just both looking to time each other, and two counter punches never work out. It's a big waiting game. Nice jab for Dimitri Bebo. He's stepping towards him now. Dimitri Bebo looks like he wants to turn up the action. Yeah, Dimitri Bebo is really good at changing levels and giving feints. Dimitri Bebo wants to press the action. Looks like Dimitri Bebo wants to fight. And Gilberto Ramirez looks like he's looking for one, one, two. He's looking for one combination, and that's not going to beat a fighter like Dimitri Bebo. Dimitri Bebo is way too quick to just catch him with two punches. He's way too reactive. His feet are too good. You're not going to beat Dimitri Bebo by looking to time him like that. He ain't going to give you that. He's not a flat-footed, slow puncher like Ramirez is. This is a good. This looks like it's going to be a good fight, man. I see a lot of good things happening so far. Good round, good round. This guy says, Dudo or Faye. Jay Sharp, it looks like he don't have the stamina and electricity that Bebo got. Dimitri Bebo is a very electric fighter. He's always moving. He's always fancing in and out on his toes. He never just kind of waits around like you see Ramirez doing. Ramirez waits around and looks just to counter with something hard. Bebo is always very aware, on point, looks a little let off fast, and use that footwork. Um, I got Dimitri Bebo winning this fight so far. This guy says, better be up. You know what, Money World? I think Better BF got a lot more power than Dimitri Bebo. Arthur Better BF has one punch knockout power. The way he knocked out Joe Smith, um, Bebo didn't do that to Joe Smith. Uh, I think Better BF is the stronger puncher between him and Bebo. Uh, here we go. They in the center of the ring. They both pawn the jab. You know, every time you see a southpaw versus orthodox, it's always the battle of the front hand, front foot. It's always going to be like that. Dimitri Bebo looks like he wants to be faster. He just ain't faster. Dimitri Bebo looks like he wants to think a lot faster. He just, he's not, he's not fast. He's not fast at all. I mean, Ramirez, my bad. Ramirez looks like he wants to be faster. Gilberto Ramirez looks like he's looking to throw a little more this round. Dimitri Bebo, I like Dimitri Bebo's wide stance. He uses that wide stance to be on them toes in and out very fast. Beautiful right hand, yo! It looked like Zuno got hurt. Ramirez looks hurt. Okay, he fighting back. Bebo just hurt Ramirez, but Ramirez shook it off. I want him to knock this dude out so I can make a video uh, roasting buddy. Bebo is really doing his thing right now. He's fighting the perfect fight to win this fight. I want him to hurt dude because due to the fact that Canelo said he'll fight Bebo in the rematch, if Bebo wins, they might try to rob Bebo. That's what I think. Bebo is fighting the perfect fight right now. Dimitri Bebo is kind of waiting to explode with his speed. And Gilberto Ramirez don't got that speed. He don't have it. He's, he's not a fast fighter. Like most Mexican boxers, he's very slow. You know, Mexican boxers ain't known for their speed. They, they just not. I don't care what none of y'all say. You know what I'm saying? Bebo looks like he's fighting the right fight to win the fight. They both in the center of the ring. Gilberto Ramirez is doing a whole bunch of nothing. Gilberto Ramirez is kind of just swinging, but he's not looking to be effective. He's looking to just show the judges he's giving output. Bebo is looking to attack. He stays really low, looks to jump in, land, and get out. Ramirez is not trying to land right now. Ramirez looks like he just wants to score points, and that's not going to win him the fight. Unless he unless he robs Bebo. But I see Bebo 
That was a nice left hand by Ramirez. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Bebo pressing the action. Bebo looks like he got a good chin. Nice, nice, nice right hand by Dimitri Bebo. Bebo is pressing Ramirez to the ropes. Ramirez, it looks like his corner just told him to keep him at bay with that jab because he got long arms. Good round. Hit and don't get hit. Longer reach is going to work. You know what? A longer reach could work if you know how to establish your jab. A lot of guys got long arms, but they don't know what to do with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could beat a guy's reach if you're a fighter like Bebo. If a guy has a reach on you and you're in and out like, like, like you see Dimitri Bebo doing, you could eliminate that reach. Because you could get inside, let off quick, and jump back out like Dimitri Bebo does. Dimitri Bebo is really good in and out movements. He jump inside, he attack, he jump back out and give you a different angle. Bebo is a better boxer than he gets credit for. Dimitri Bebo, the way he destroyed Canelo, it looks like Ramirez is getting really tight. He's breathing awfully hard in that corner. Ramirez is breathing in that corner really hard. Movement is important. You're right. He says Zuluzo is not going a distance. Let's hope. Let's hope you're right on that. Uh, here we go. Round number five. They're in the center of the ring. Chris Mannix got it. A draw. I don't listen to nothing. Nobody box got to say. Uh, Dimitri Bebo pressing the action. He walking right to Ramirez, and I think that's what he should do. Whenever a guy has a bigger reach on you, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta get close to him. Don't stay at bay because he's gonna keep you at bay with that jab. Dimitri Bebo just set up a nice left hand. He marching towards Ramirez. Ramirez is looking to land the uppercut. It ain't going to land. He way too slow for that. Dimitri Bebo. Yo, Ramirez just landed a nice left. Bebo shouldn't give up on his footwork right now. That footwork been working. He should stick to the footwork. I don't know what he's doing right now. Bebo should definitely stay off the ropes. Bebo is in the center of the ring where... He's usually the aggressor. Gilberto Ramirez, I think he's going to burn his gas tank out because I saw him breathing hard in that corner. He using that reach, but I just don't think that he has the speed to compete with Bebo right now. I think that if Dimitri Bebo continues to use his speed, he could continue to win this fight. Bebo is, is, is looking to press the action. Gilberto Ramirez just looks really nervous. He looks like he's real antsy and too uptight. He got to relax a little bit. But I'm not rooting for him, so hopefully he gets knocked out. Dimitri Bebo. Nice, nice, yo. Beautiful, left, beautiful right hand by Bebo. Yo, knock this dude out, man. Dimitri Bebo just landed a nice right hand on Ramirez's face. Ramirez looks to throw that weak-ass jab out. Dimitri Bebo looking to time him. You see, Bebo wants to get that shot at better be it for undisputed. Bebo wants to go undisputed, and he's doing the right thing. I got Bebo winning this fight. He said, oh, my. Dimitri right back in the center of the ring. Ramirez is pawing the jab out. He throws a whole bunch of nothing. Uh, Dimitri Bebo catches everything he's throwing. He's doing a good job of pairing the shots with his high guard, of catching the shots. Bebo looking to attack. Bebo is on the attack. He got up against the ropes, like, like the same way he had Canelo against the ropes. Ramirez gets up out of there. Ramirez is a better fighter than Canelo because at least he didn't stay against the ropes like Canelo did. Dimitri Bebo right back in the center of the ring. He's not going for none of them little weak feints that Ramirez is throwing. Bebo uses that footwork. Bebo is a very smart boxer. Good round. He says Zuluzo is a punching bag. He says Zuluzo is cheeks. Straight cheeks. Hey, yo, somebody black Jose Valle. Hey, yo, moderators. Block this dude just for that comment. You want South Paul 77? You want South Paul TV, bro? Comments like that will get you black. You know what I'm saying?
Comments like that will get you black. Watch them Twitter fingers, bro. You know what I mean? You're going to look too crazy right now. Beautiful. Bebo, they're showing the replay. Bebo landed four punches in a row on Ramirez's face. And he didn't do nothing about it. You know what I mean? Love that comment. Like most Mexican boxers, Mexican boxers are known to have footwork. They're not known to have rhythm because they really don't got no rhythm. They don't have finesse. And that's what you're seeing with Ramirez right now. Dimitri Bebo is pressing the action right now. He's he's walking right to Ramirez with, with a high guard. He's looking to catch and shoot. But the only thing about Dimitri Bebo's catch and shoot is that he'll catch and he'll shoot with like five shots. I love Dimitri Bebo's style. Dimitri Bebo is landing at will with that jab. Every time Dimitri Bebo shoots that jab, it's touching Ramirez's face. Gilberto Ramirez is very flat-footed. He doesn't know how to move. He don't have no angles. And Dimitri Bebo keeps walking towards him with a high guard, just touching his face with that jab. He got the right game plan to win the fight right now. Dimitri Bebo steady using a jab. Every time you see Dimitri Bebo pop, he steps forward. He'll jab and he'll step forward. He'll step back when he needs to. Beautiful boxing by Dimitri Bebo. Dimitri Bebo is using the in and out motion. Bebo, Bebo can't, Bebo just can't land. I mean, um, uh, Ramirez, he just can't land right now, man. Ramirez is all type of sloppy. I don't see Ramirez doing anything of any significance. Uh, very slow. Do straight cheeks, bro. Like real talk. Gilberto Ramirez is nothing but a golden boy hype job. Look, he, he don't even know when to throw. He's second guessing himself. Uh, Ramirez is clearly losing this fight. Clearly losing this fight. I would like to see Dimitri Bebo press the action a little bit more. The only thing that might make that difficult for Bebo is the fact that Ramirez is a southpaw. Southpaws are harder to press the action against, especially if you're not used to facing a southpaw. But Dimitri Bebo is fighting the perfect fight right now. He's capitalizing off uh, Gilberto Ramirez's slowness. Ramirez is too slow to compete with Bebo right now. Every time Ramirez throws a slow jab to the body, Bebo capitalizes off it. Bebo is way faster. So every time he throws that slow jab out, Bebo, and if he overextends, Bebo lets off very fast because he got the speed. Bebo is just clearly the faster fighter right now. Nice left hand from Bebo. I don't see Ramirez doing anything right now. Ramirez is a typical Mexican boxer, very unskilled. Ramirez is getting beat up right now. Good round for Bebo. What's the score? Yo, Mr. Julian, you said Bebo's round. Uh, the score is Bebo's winning. Bebo definitely winning the fight. If anything, I'll probably give Ramirez one round, but that's lucky. Look at the replay. Look at how Gilbert, look at how Ramirez is just kind of reaching very slow, man. Um, what I'm seeing in this fight, I'm seeing a turtle take on a jaguar. The jaguar is Bebo, very fast, athletic, strong, and Ramirez is just a turtle right now. Uh, Bebo sees every one of his punches coming, man. I think Ramirez is just too slow to be effective right now. Uh, Bebo dominating this fight, and it's not even close. Anthony Joshua's in a building. Take the camera off of him. Not looking like he's going to advance Mexico. You know what? Hey, I love that comment. Seek wisdom? Yeah. It looks like, hey, he talking about he want to avenge Mexico. As a matter of fact, thank you for reminding me that. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that in the video for this fight. You see, Ramirez is supposed to avenge Mexico right now. So, Dimitri Bebo could say he got two wins against the country of Mexico right now. Um, if he beats Ramirez. 
I think Ramirez's only chance of winning is if he lands a knockout punch. But in order to land that punch, you got to be fast. And speed is something that he don't have. They're in the center of the ring. Bebo doing what he does, using a lot of face. I think Bebo needs to press the action a little bit more, man. Because I wouldn't trust the judges. I wouldn't trust these judges at all. Uh, Ramirez is just looking to pull the slow jab. He's very, hey, is it me? Or does Ramirez have got the slowest feet? I don't care about Chris Mann's scorecard. He don't know what he's looking at. Ramirez got some really slow feet. He doesn't know how to use footwork. He's trying to do moves that he don't got. He don't got footwork. They in the center of the ring. Dimitri Bebo's looking to time him. Gilberto Ramirez is throwing out a very slow jab. He's lit. He's hitting a whole bunch of nothing. He's landing all air shots. I don't see Ramirez doing anything of any significance. I think Dimitri Bebo is slipping the punches, using his footwork very, very intelligently. I don't see Ramirez doing anything. Nothing. He's missing everything. He did land the uppercut right there, so hopefully that wakes Bebo up. Be here come Bebo. Bebo pressing the action. He hit him with the right hand. He got him in the corner. Yo, yo, he rocked him with the left. Bebo is taking the fight to Ramirez right now. And Ramirez is doing a whole bunch of nothing. He's trying to answer back. He's too slow. I think Bebo should keep this up. Bebo should keep this up. Bebo does better when he presses. You see, a southpaw, a, a southpaw loves his space. Ramirez loves the fact that he got reach and he's a southpaw. That way he can create. I think Bebo should just go straight to Ramirez. And he'll eliminate all that awkward creativeness that Ramirez is using right now. Bebo trying, to, uh, Bebo trying to press in the center of the ring. Ramirez looking to time him with something that he's probably not going to land. They both just kind of, it's a waiting game right now. They're not really doing much. Bebo lands a nice right hand. Bebo, Bebo is Bebo just landed a nice left. That's the round. Where is Canelo gonna hide now? I think Canelo should retire, bro. I think Canelo Alvarez should just retire from the sport of boxing. I think Canelo's watching this fight right now. I think Canelo is seeing Bebo win this fight. Uh, yo, uh, Dimitri Bebo is definitely winning. Hey, yo, he say Bebo wants to step on the gas. He's playing it safe, though. Yeah, you know what? Uh, he wants to step on the gas, but unless he really... Yo, he cracked him right there, man. That's that's a beautiful that's a beautiful highlight. I think that uh, Bebo is clearly winning this fight, man. Ramirez's head is getting... Ramirez's head looks like a, 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 a double M bag. Look at that. Bebo dominating right now, man. Crazy. Bebo is your typical Mexican boxer. He has no rhythm. No rhythm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody type in rhythm because that's something that Mexican boxers usually don't have. It just, it is what it is. It's not being racist. It is what it is. Mexican boxers ain't known to have good, good footwork. They, they're not known to have rhythm. They're just known to stand in front and just punch. You know, you're not going to beat a fighter like Bebo with that style. They're just not. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Matthew. Rhythm, baby, rhythm. Dimitri Bebo got Ramirez in the corner. I think Dimitri Bebo is looking to turn it up right now. He's throwing more. He's stepping closer to him. I think now's the time. It's round eight, and Dimitri Bebo needs to take it to him, man. He's winning the fight, but he got to put a stamp. He, he got to put a stamp on it. He got to put a stamp on it right now. Canelo needs to fight, and Canelo ain't gonna fight. No, nobody you want to see him fight. Canelo gonna fight somebody we never heard of. That's what Canelo do. Bebo is fearless. You're right. Dimitri Bebo is walking right towards him. Ramirez looks like he's just waiting to do something that's not gonna be effective. Dimitri Bebo is landing at will right now. Dimitri Bebo is taking a right to him. Gilberto Ramirez is now backing up. He doesn't know what to do. He landed a nice jab, though. I'll give him that. Ramirez landed a nice jab. 
Ramirez only not advantage, but his only plus is that he's a southpaw. That's the only thing he got going for him is that he'll land that jab every now and then. Only because he a southpaw will reach. That's it. But the fighting and boxing game is all in Bebo's favor this fight. Dimitri Bebo pressing the action with the high guard. Ramirez is looking to make something happen, and it's not happening right now. I think Bebo needs to turn it up on him, man. He needs to just, you know what I'm saying? Um, Ramirez probably got some uh, power in them punches. That's what's holding Bebo back from stepping in. I think that Bebo would step on the gas. Yo, he, he got Ramirez in the corner. Beautiful left. There you go. Hurt him. Hurt him. Ramirez is in trouble right now. Ramirez is in trouble right now. He a little wobbly. He trying to, he fighting back though. I'll give him that. He fighting back. Ramirez is fighting back, but he just got landed on by like seven unanswered punches. Dimitri Bebo got the high guard in the center of the ring. Dimitri Bebo looking to step to him. Your brother Ramirez doesn't know what to do. Them punches got no power in them. He's just kind of winging, throwing punches. Dimitri Bebo got the sharper, more crisper shots. Ramirez looking to try to feign him. You're not going to fade Dimitri Bebo out. You're not faster. The slower fighter can never out faint the faster fighter. If you are the slower man, you cannot use your feints to feign out the faster man because when the man is faster, his eyeballs also see faster. He thinks faster knowing that he's the faster man. Ramirez looks tired in the corner. He looked gassed. It looked like he got a hangover. You know what I'm saying? Canelo's drunk as hell singing right now. Hey, yo, Carter Gore. That, that's exactly how I got it. I got it 7-1, Dimitri Bebo. He whooping on dude right now. He target practice. Ramirez is target practice right now. I hope he stopped, dude. Hey, yo, Deborah Scott, I agree with that comment. I agree with that comment, Deborah Scott. Dimitri Bebo beating the brakes off this dude. Dimitri Bebo should run for president after this. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Round number nine. They back in the center of the ring. Ramirez is the way bigger man, but he not fighting like it. Ramirez clearly got the, the size and strength on Dimitri Bebo. But he not using none of it. Ramirez just doesn't know what to do right now. Ramirez look lost. You know what I'm saying? I don't see nothing that Ramirez is doing that, that's going to win him this fight. Nothing at all whatsoever, man. Ramirez, this fight is going exactly how I knew it would go. Your brother Ramirez getting beat on. I predicted this fight to go this way, and it's going exactly that way. I don't see nothing that he doing of any significance at all whatsoever. That's that's just what I see. You know what I mean? This stream tweaking. Hold up. I got it. Hold up. They do not have this fight on um on what you call it. You know what? You know what I will say about this fight? They're doing a good job of uh of blocking the streamers. You know what I'm saying? Um they doing a good job of that. Like, like the streamers, this fight is on very little streams today. You know what I'm saying? I got the fight, but I'm saying um they doing a good job of blocking the, the streamers from uh how you say pirating this fight. Hopefully people get a KO. Meaty, meaty body, I appreciate you, bro. All right, here we go. Let's try stream meat, man. Let's get it. Give me one second. One second, y'all. I got it. I got it. Let me see. Right. Mess stream. Hey, those of y'all streaming a fight, 
the jaw stream. Oh, here we go. Back to it, baby. Back to it. Ramirez looks tired right now. Bebo definitely in his bag right now. Ramirez just got pieced up. Jeez. Ramirez got no chance of winning the fight. I told y'all. Ramirez is a, is a horrible fighter. I don't see nothing good. Um, I don't see nothing good from Ramirez right now. Nothing. Give me one second, sir. If Vivo ran for president of Mexico, he would win. I mean, if Vivo ran for president of his country, you know what I'm saying? I think I think he would do great. You know what I mean? Hold up, I got you. Let's try a stream ease. They doing a really good job, man, of blocking the um, what do you call it? The pirates. How you call it? It's a good thing Ramirez got a chin. Other otherwise he'd be up out of there. I agree with you. Ramirez does have a chin because he he, he and everything. Hey yo, PayPal, go ahead and drop that, PayPal. Go ahead and drop that. That's what you call it? Let me see. We got the Hold up. Look. Get box. Hey, yo, thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, who, who, 212K. It's hard to find the stream, man. It's really hard to find the stream. Like they are not going. Hey, yo, man, that stream it up. I got you. I got a lot of streams, man, but they blocking them right now, man. They on top of that. Now they're gonna take the damn man. They are really, they are really on top of these streams. Man, they just cut off everybody's stream. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, I got it. They are on top of all that right now, man. They probably know that a lot of people is streaming the fight. That's that's what it really is. Let me see what you just gotta you just gotta know the streams, man. But here we go. I got it. I got this old stream I used to use. Today with this stream, they blocking it. They they blocking it. They blocking this stream heavy. So you know a lot of people going streaming. <clears throat> I missed that whole round. You like Bebo, but ain't no way I'm paying for this fight. Combat power. I like your comment. I like Bebo too. 
क्रिया में पर आगे तो चौका में He said, "Canelo, hey yo, matter of fact, Matthew, the Canelo fans might be on top of that because they don't want to see Bivo win the way I see him winning." I'm see. Okay, here we go. What round we at? We at round eleven. Two rounds left. Your brother Ramirez needs a knockout to win. Bivo winning this fight right now. Dimitri Bebo got this in the bag. Even the announcement team just said that uh, Bebo got this. Canelo blocking the streams. I believe that. I believe Canelo. Canelo, Canelo knows that he can't be Bebo. I think if Canelo fight Bebo, it's going to be worse for, Bebo, uh, for Canelo. Bebo landed a nice right hand. they in the center of the ring. Dimitri Bivo let off a three-punch combination. Beautiful by Bivo. Bivo, Bivo is rocking dude's head around right now. I think your brother from here is, hey, it's crazy that he's an undefeated fighter when he looked like this. He looked horrible right now. I think he was just another Golden Boy hype job. I think Bivo needs to go for the stoppage. Bivo is beating this. He beat him up. Dimitri Bebo is now starting just to land on him. He beating him up right now. Ramirez doesn't know what to do. He's faking like he got headbutted. Now, hey, look it. Whenever you see a fighter crying to the ref like that, you know he in trouble. He's trying to bite anytime he could, anytime he could, to, to stop the beating. Dimitri Bebo. Clearly is clearly winning this round. I'll tell you that. Bebo is yo, Bebo is beating this dude up right now. They're in the center of the ring. Dimitri Bebo got the high guard. I like how he stays with his movement. Dimitri Bebo is doing everything right to beat this slow, flat footed boxer. Your brother Ramirez, I don't know how the hell he undefeated. He not fighting like he undefeated. Your brother Ramirez is fighting like a man that got five losses already. Yo, Dimitri Bebo lighting this dude up, man. Dimitri Bebo is lighting this man up. He's, he's beating on him. And they just crashed my damn stream. That's crazy. Yo, man, the stream police, they on top of it right now, man. That is, that, that, that is the worst time to crash my stream, man. I was witnessing a beating right now. Jump right back on it. All you can do is jump right back on it. Here we go. Oh, it ain't over. Man. They are tweaking on these strings, man. They're like super tweaking on these damn strings, man. Hey, y'all. Uh, you talking about buff stream? That's one of them old school. Does that work? I might have to jump on that. Because, man, this monster, that's, that's that he crashed, man. Why you put that I.O. right there? I got you. Hold up. Remove the brackets. What works? Mr. PayPal, we say buff stream. IO. Buff stream, IO. Buff stream. Ain't nothing popping up, bro. I'm not, I'm not finna, um, I got you. I'm trying to operate as fast as I could, man. I'm trying not to miss the end of this fight, but it be like that sometimes.
Canelo fans, steady crash my stream, bro. Buff stream dot I know what off the brackets. I'm gonna try that. They kicked you out too. Yeah, man. They they tweaking with these streams. Why is you putting it with the brackets then, bro? You know what I'm saying? You need to type it up how I should I should I should type it up, bro. Like like you steady typing it. You talking about without this, without that. Type it up the way I should type it then, bro. You steady typing it and, and saying without this, without that, bro. I got the last round. One minute left in the last round. It looks like Bebo just hurt oh, Ramirez right now. Bebo is beating this man up. Yo, he hurt him. He hurt him. Looks like he ready to go. You ready to go. Ramirez is fighting back, though. He was about to drop. He was about to fall. The fight is about to be over. You right? Hey, yo, what are you laughing at, bro? I got you, I got you. Thirty seconds left. I just want to see Ramirez's face when Ramirez lose. I want to see the look on Ramirez's face when he realizes that he got beat by the same man who beat Canelo. Dimitri B was a dog, man. Good fight, good fight. Yeah, man. Dimitri Bebo destroyed that man. Dimitri Bebo just showed all of y'all why I say the things that I say. Respect to Ramirez, but he looks gassed. He's holding on to the ropes right now. He looks like he's out of breath. Dimitri Bebo, put, hey, hey, look at Ramirez's body language right now. He's holding on to the ropes. He's drinking water. He looks like he's happy that the fight is over. Bebo definitely won this fight, and they better not rob this man. Ayo, A.R. Smith, I definitely agree with you. Remember how they used to call Manny Pacquiao the executioner? Remember that? Dimitri Bebo should adopt that nickname. I would love to hear him have that nickname. Uh, they're showing some highlights of the fight. This was a great fight, man. From what I thought of it, the, the streaming police steady taking everybody's stuff down. But Dimitri Bebo was using great footwork. They're showing the replays. Dimitri Bebo beat the brakes off this dude, man. You see how Bebo handles other 175 pounders. What in the world makes Canelo Alvarez think he could beat this dude ever in his lifetime? Hey, yo, boxing fan times four? I agree with that. I'll give Ramirez one, maybe two rounds, bro. But Bebo beat this dude up. He beat him up. Easy money for uh, Dimitri Bebo, man. Dimitri Bebo got this. I can't wait to I can't wait to hear this. Hey, yo, Jason Reed, they fight in the UK. They fight on the other side of the world. That's why. Man, get to the announcement. 
I want to hear this. I want to hear what he say about Canelo. The Canelo said, he said, if Bebo wins, he's going to give him a rematch. Let's see what's up right now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. Don't rob this dude. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in Abu Dhabi. Let's go. Unanimous for Bebo. Judges scorecards. Unanimous. Jean Robert Lane, 118-110. That's good. Stanley Christodoulou. 118-110. And Bobo Cardini both scored them out. 117 to 111. That's good. All three for your winner. A unanimous decision. He's still undefeated and still. Yes, sir. Dimitri Bebo. That's right. What I tell you? What I tell you? What I tell you? Hey, what did I tell you, man? Look at that on your face. He's gonna go get, he gonna go get coked up after this. That's right. Bring on Arthur Better BM or Canelo, the steroid taking gene disgrace, most overrated fighter in the history of the sport I've That's the fuck you want to see. Bring on Canelo, bro. Hey, Canelo said if Bebo wins, he's going to rematch Bebo. I wonder what Canelo's excuse is going to be for ducking Bebo now. Those were Canelo's words. Hey, yo, Canelo fans. I want to hear what he's going to say. They're going to do the interview in a second. Hey, yo, but Canelo fans, I'm sure you Canelo fans are watching, but you're not commenting nothing crazy because my moderators will get you out of here. But Canelo fans, I got a question. What's going to be your excuse come single de Mayweather of 2023 when Canelo don't fight this man? What's going to be y'all excuse when Canelo ducks Dimitri Bebo? You saw what Bebo did to Ramirez. You saw what Bebo did to Canelo. What's going to be Canelo's excuse for ducking Dimitri Bebo? Because he's going to duck him. Canelo ain't never going to fight Dimitri Bebo ever again. Canelo will never fight this man ever again. Because Canelo was soft. Cinco de Bebo, that's right. Matter of fact, matter of fact, that's going to be, matter of fact, hey, yo, Giovanni, I'm going to start using that, bro. Cinco de Bebo. With your winner. Let's hear what he got to say. Congratulations. Second big fight in 2022. Second big win. What did you think of your performance? Uh, well, good. Uh, Turn hey, the mics up, man. But, uh, I mean, this is the one. one. The microphone's bogus, right? You fought Canelo Alvarez several months ago. The earlier is a very different fighter than Canelo. How did that change your game plan? Uh, yeah, it was really different. And uh, before the fight, Canelo, I spent a lot of energy to be confident uh, for preparing. And before this fight, I was relaxed. This is one different, yeah. And the second, he's a south spy and he uses a lot of body punch. And he's, uh, he's gone through one punch, he's through three, four punch. Ramirez came into this ring significantly bigger than you, but you were the one backing him up for most of the night. How important was it to you to be the aggressor, to be the one backing him up? Uh, you know, the lion is not the biggest animal in jungle, but he, he's king. And yeah, Zurda is bigger than me. It doesn't matter. It don't, that's right. He said remember it was bigger than him, but it didn't matter. A lot of years looking for these big fights. You get the big fight against I want to see what he said about Canelo. I'm going to get to that. Hold up. What has this year meant for you? Uh, I proved myself. I can be I can beat the best guy in the world. And I was I was happy and now I beat another another guy who doesn't know what lose is. It, it means a lot for me. And uh, I have a goal. I want to be undisputed champion. Uh, but it not all depends on me. If everything depends on me, I fight for four belts. 
in 11 fight maybe. But uh, we have a big team. In my team, uh, my manager. You say you want to go undisputed. Thank you. He want to fight out there better be. And thank you, Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi be hosting some great fights, man. Only on me, so I will fight Shout out to Abu Dhabi. They host some great fights. They with do. The, with the team, which is better for for all of us, and we will do it. But I hope uh, they will listening to me what I want. It does sound like Better be a, is going to face Anthony Yard in the first half of next year. Does that make it more likely? that we see you in a rematch with Canelo? Of course, uh, I'm like a kid who has a dream. I want to go to this dream. My heart won't, but my mind and my brain understand how things are uh, going. And uh, I prefer to fight for another belt, but if I don't have this chance in a couple months, in four or five months, of course I will take another fight. Would you go down to 168 for Canelo? Uh, it, it depends, not only me. But for four belts, uh, it's an interesting fight. Why not? Why not? Uh, we can argue. But he said he'll go to 168 and take all Canelo's belts. This is my weight. So he said 175 is his so weight. Thank you so much for everyone who Hey, me. man. Respect to Bebo, man. Who watch my fight, who support me. Thank you. Hey, yo, man. How do you not love Dimitri Bebo, man? He's a very respectable dude, bro. He's very humble, man. How do you not like this dude, man? Who don't like Bebo? He said if it may, he said if Arthur Better BF is gonna fight Anthony Yard, which is a pointless fight, if Arthur Better BF is busy with him, then he'll stay busy and he might entertain a Canelo fight at once at 175. Chris Mannix want to talk about, would you go to one six? I don't really care what Ramirez got to say. I don't like this dude. Matter of fact, that's enough for this. Dimitri Bebo said he's willing to go to 168 and take all Canelo belts. He said that sounds good going undisputed at 168 against Canelo. And I think he could beat Canelo. He could beat Canelo at any weight. He just has the style to beat Canelo. But uh, thank you for the super chat. Uh, this dude says, boxing fan. Canelo is on a layoff with a fake hand injury. Canelo out so that he can go on a cycle. You know what? He know he won't be getting tested while he's out. Boxing fan times four. That is the comment of the day, bro. Canelo Alvarez, you see, a lot of times, like, if you look at Conor McGregor in the UFC, he had, he had a broken leg. Sometimes guys take steroids to help their broken bones, you know what I'm saying? So Canelo Alvarez got that hand surgery. So he might be on a cycle of steroids like he usually is to help heal his hand. That is a great comment, boxing fan times four. That's a great comment. Um, but respect to Dimitri Bebo, man. Thoughts on Jessica McCaskill trainer. You probably you hey, you probably go to that gym, right? You talking about Rick Ramos, the guy who blocked me when I offered to spar him? You talking about Rick Ramos, the wannabe Latin king, the one who throws up the crown but never was a Latin king? You talking about that dude? You talking about Rick Ramos, the one who got Jessica McCaskill claiming that she's Mexican yet she's black? The one who turned down sparring with me? The one uh, Rick Ramos body uh, body shot boxing, weakest gym in Chicago, smallest gym in Chicago, uh, all-female gym. You talking about that Rick Ramos? Rick Ramos is straight goofy. Rick Ramos, if you see this, bro, you will want to be Latin King. You're not a real Latin King, bro. Um, Jessica McCaskill is the only thing you got. And Clarissa Shields pulled up on you, and you didn't have that type of energy. When I went to your gym, I offered to spar any one of y'all. And Jessica's like, no, uh, you got to wait three months. What you mean three months? I could literally beat up anybody at that gym. Remember that. Clown ass dude. Rick Ramos straight goofy. Ray, hey, wanna know something about Rick Ramos? Clarissa Shields pulled up on them at the Zone broadcast, and Jessica didn't say none of that. Jessica McCaskey was talking about Clarissa Shields, and she didn't say none of that to her face. Clarissa Shields would beat the brakes off of Jessica McCaskey. You know what I'm saying? 
Hey, yo, Mr. Roby, OA21, you right. He said, you know, hey, matter of fact, Coco, you right. I like Bebo too. He's very respectable. Um, Looking to take on all challengers, man. Beautiful performance. Now, the pressure is on Canelo. Hey, y'all remember what Canelo said, right? Matter of fact, if you forgot what Canelo said, I'm going to play it for y'all. These are Canelo's words right here. What he say? I was born ready. 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 So if Canelo was born ready, he should be born ready to take that rematch. You know what I'm saying? Because he said if Bebo wins, he wants a rematch. Bebo just won. Let's see if Canelo keeps that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Those are Canelo's words, not mine. And why should he want a rematch? I represent Mexico. Why, he, why should he want a rematch? Because I represent Mexico. Exactly. Rick Ramos definitely doesn't wear the pants. Jessica McCaskill um, definitely wears the pants in that relationship. Rick Ramos actually blocked me. Uh, I went to his gym saying, yo, I'm trying to spar. And they didn't they didn't want me there in the gym. It was all females. And he looked at me and he's like, yeah, you know exactly who I am. And Je hey, well, Jessica was cool, but at the same time, she's very fake. You know what I'm saying? Yup. Hey, yo, M Block J, I love that. Zurdo tried to make the fight about race on Canelo's behalf. I love that comment. He trying to say, he tried to say he was gonna avenge Mexico for what Bebo did to Canelo. Did Jessica win her fight today? I don't know. Matter of fact, let me check. I'm gonna check right now if uh if Jessica won her fight. Matter of fact, that's a good question if you ask me. Hold up. Match room. Let me let, let me see who won that fight. Did Jessica win? Oh, she won by unanimous decision? Okay. Well then she won. How come how come I'm not seeing it? Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, no, wait. Hell no, nah, she ain't win. Yo. Jessica didn't win. Jessica lost. Jessica McCaskill lost. The other girl won. The Chantel girl. Hey. Beautiful. Hey. Rick Ramos. Hey, Rick Ramos. It looks like the cash cow's gone. Hey, what did Eddie Hearn say? Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Yo, man, respect to. I should do a video on this. I, hey, I know he watches. I know he watches my channel. Hey, yo, respect to. What, what is her name? Chantel Cameron. She just beat the brakes off of Jessica McCaskill. I'm looking at highlights right now. She beating Jeff. Hey, Jessica McCaskill is a very, very limited fighter. That's why I asked you about the trainer. Rick Ramos, you a clown, bro. And I hope you see this, Goofy. Want to be Latin King? You, you're not a Latin King at all. But I ain't trying to make this about that. All right, man. I'm going to get to these videos. Dave and my rough fighters later. And, um, great day for boxing. Jessica McCaskill lost. Demetri Bebo lost. Rick Ramos lost. I'm going to get up out of here. Thank God for tuning in. Canelo Alvarez is a disgrace to boxing. Canelo Alvarez fans ruin the earth. I'm gone.